I'm going to show an example of how to apply Newton's Law of Universal Gravitation in the form W equals mg. The goal of this problem is to calculate the weight of water, and the water is at room condition, so we're thinking of liquid water, and we have 100 grams of water specified. Now, it's very common for people to say the weight of the water is 100 grams, or the weight of the water is 1 kilogram, for example, but grams or kilograms are units of mass. So what we have specified here are mass units. I'll begin by defining the situation. So I'll just write situation, abbreviation here, and I make a sketch. So I'm going to draw a container. I'm going to draw this funny symbol, three lines like that, and then a little triangle. And this symbol means a free surface. So I have water down here and air above here. I label the water. And I note that the mass I have is 100 grams. And I'm going to write this as 0 0.1 kilograms because it makes carrying and canceling units much easier. I'll define my goal. What I want to calculate is the weight in Newtons of the water. So I'll make a brief text label. I'll label my documentation. Now I suspect I can solve this problem by applying Newton's Law of Universal Gravitation. I note that the equation has my goal in it. I symbolize that with a question mark with a box around it. So there's my goal. And now I analyze. I know the mass of the water and I know that gravitational acceleration is 9.81 meters per second squared. I have one equation, one unknown, very easy problem to solve. I lay out my calculation. The weight is equal to the mass, 0 0.1 kilograms. times the gravitational acceleration, so that's 9.81 meters per second squared. To analyze units, I have kilogram meter per second squared here, and I need units in newtons over here, so I need to multiply by 1.0 or a conversion ratio, and so I use the conversion ratio that a newton by definition, is a kilogram meter per second squared. I cancel out kilograms. I cancel out second squared. And I cancel out meters. And my units come out in newtons. So I have 9.81 times 0.1. I can see by inspection that that's 0 0.981 newtons. To check my work, I recall that one liter of water, liquid water, is 1,000 grams of mass, and it is also equal to very close to 10 newtons of weight. Since this problem involved 100 grams of water, I can see that I have a tenth of a liter, 0 0.1 liters of water. So I expect that the weight of this is 10 newtons divided by 10, or very close to 1 newton. And so I can see that my answer comes out to be very close to 1 newton. This process of checking my work is called validating. And it's a standard thing that engineers do. So I'll zoom out here so you can see the whole problem. Some key points. Number one, when you hear someone talk about weight in grams or weight in kilograms, they're really talking about the mass of something. When you want to relate mass to weight, the key equation is to use Newton's Law of Universal Gravity. The most important thing you need to know in terms of how to do things is carry and cancel units. And the last point is that validation, as I've shown here, is a key engineering skill you want to start practicing.
We hope this lesson has been very useful. Thank you very much for listening.